Hey, for my latest video, I wanted to show something else that I originally bought in his inventory and I've just had it hanging on the wall ever since. This painting. Oil on canvas, a Haitian oil on canvas. Like most Haitian paintings, I really like its bold colors. This one in particular though, I like because it has a big person. So many of the other ones you see, I'll show you some now that were online. They have these little people and they're just sort of, you know, doesn't seem as much thought as goes into some of those. Those are sort of tourist pieces. This piece speaks more to me. It has, I think, a little more emotion. I do like the bigger person. It fills the canvas. Signed on the back. Looks like 1994. It's a nice smaller size, too. I think it really stands out on the wall. I really like having it hanging on my wall. And this brings me to another point about art. I think sometimes in the art world, whether it's folk art or even modern art, and oil on canvases, anything, I think we focus too much on the signature of the name. There's a lot of bargains out there, uh, good investments, maybe not necessarily investments for long-term growth, but sort of uh, investments in decoration. I think there's a lot of bargains out there, uh, unsigned stuff, or by people who we know nothing about. I think that's true in folk art, I think that's true in painting, something like this. I paid $20 for this, grant it's not for everyone. I did buy it wholesale, but still $20 seems pretty cheap for a painting that I love to hang on the wall. So I think if you're out there looking for stuff for yourself, uh, you know, Find something that speaks to you, whether it's a, a known signature or a known name or not. You, there can be some real bargains. There can be some real bargains out there and that sort of stuff. So keep looking. I think you'll find some stuff out there that's a much better deal financially if you're just looking to decorate a house. This piece, like I said, this was originally bought as inventory and now it's sort of just hanging on my wall. But here's a piece, um, if you look now, here's a piece that I sold recently that for a long time I had on display in my apartment in DC. I buy something I like better, so I sell something, and the profit I made on this piece is a lot more than $20 I paid for this, for the painting that I'm currently keeping. So, this piece will eventually probably go for sale too, but that's just how it works. It's, that's how it works for me as an antique dealer. I hold on to something for a while because I like it, and I sell it when I upgrade or buy something I like. Not necessarily better, but just differently. You get tired of looking at it. And then also a lot of my inventory is just on display. It's still for sale. It's listed online somewhere. I take it to shows, but in between shows, I have it on display because I do like to look at the stuff, and that's a cheap way for a, a dealer to decorate is to display their inventory. Not so much cheap, but you know, it, you're not keeping the stuff necessarily, and it's fun to look at, and you get to live with it for a while before you sell it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick short video about something else in my personal collection that really is inventory, but is also in my personal collection. It's a murky line. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thanks.